Hi everyone, this is Miss Melissa from the West Windsor branch, and today I'll be sharing with you some new juvenile graphic novels. To place a hold on any of these titles, please visit mcl.org. First up is Lightfall, Book 1, The Girl and the Galdarian, by Tim Probert, for grades 4 to 6. For fans of Amulet and middle grade readers who love sweeping worlds like Star Wars, the first book of the Lightfall series introduces B and Cad, two unlikely friends who get swept up in an epic quest to save their world from falling into eternal darkness. Deep in the heart of the planet Urpa stands the Salty Pig's house of tonics and tinctures, home of the wise pig wizard and his adopted granddaughter B. As keepers of the endless flame, they live a quiet and peaceful life, crafting medicines and potions for the people of their once prosperous world. All that changes one day when, while walking through the woods, B meets Cad, a member of the Galdurian, an ancient race thought to be long extinct. Cad believes that if anyone can help him find his missing people, it's the pig wizard. But when the two arrive home, the pig wizard is nowhere to be found. All that's left is the jar of endless flame and a mysterious note. Fearing for the pig wizard's safety, B and Cad set out across Urpa to find him, while danger fights its way out of the shadows and into the light. Will these two unexpected friends find the beloved pig wizard and prevent eternal darkness from blanketing their world? Or has Urpa truly seen its last sunrise. Pacey Packer Unicorn Tracker by J.C. Phillips for grades 2 to 5. Slasher is real, but seriously, he's a stuffed toy. Then again, he does seem to be leading Mina outside her room into some kind of weird magical unicorn land. Pacey may not believe in unicorns, but she's not about to let her little sister be kidnapped, so she does the only thing she can, follows them to unicorn land, that she totally does not believe in, and for the record, it's nothing like the stories. First off, what's up with Slasher's attitude? It's not Pacey's fault he's trapped in a ridiculous stuffed body, and that alpha unicorn guy? Not nice. Pacey will just be grabbing Mina and taking her home, thank you very much. That is, if she can work with the grumpiest unicorn stuffy ever to outsmart the evil alpha unicorn and find the way out, preferably without stepping on any poisonous killer flowers. What is with this place, anyway? PB&J Book 1, Stuck Together, by Brian Smitty Smith, for grades 1 to 5. Like all peas, P loves to roll, so when a no-good strawberry dares him to roll all the way off the farm, he swears he can do it. Easy measy. But along the way, a powerful thunderstorm strikes and bounces P off course and right into two unlikely new buds. A bee named B, who thinks she knows it all, and a bird named J, who can't figure out how to fly. On their own, they may not look like much, but if this trio can stick together, they just might help P find his way back home. Seance Tea Party by Ramina Yi for grades 3 to 6. After watching her circle of friends seemingly fade away, Laura is determined to still have fun on her own. So when a tea party leads Laura to discovering Alexa, the ghost that haunts her house, they soon become best friends. Sherlock Bones and the Natural History Mystery by Renee Tremel for grades 3 to 7. A hilariously funny, action-packed mystery starring the intrepid Sherlock Bones. Hi there, I'm Sherlock Bones. 
who is sherlock bones you ask well i don't like to brag but my trusty sidekick watts says i'm the greatest detective in our whole museum don't you watts watts you might not be able to hear watts because he's technically a stuffed parrot but i always know what he's thinking and right now he's thinking can we solve the mystery of the missing blue diamond and save the museum of natural history before it's too late witches of brooklyn by sophie escabas for grades three to seven there's a new witch in town life in brooklyn takes a strange turn when effie discovers magic runs in the family a middle grade graphic novel adventure filled with magical hijinks for fans of phoebe and her unicorn and making friends effie lost her mom lost her home and now she has to live with two strange aunts who she's never met before life in brooklyn takes a strange twist for effie as she learns more about her family and herself with new friends who will do whatever they can to be there for her a cursed pop star and her new magically inclined family effie's life is about to get interesting twins by varian johnson illustrated by shannon wright for grades three to seven maureen and francine carter are twins and best friends they participate in the same clubs enjoy the same foods and are partners on all their school projects but just before the girl starts sixth grade francine becomes fran a girl who wants to join the chorus run for class president and dress in fashionable outfits that set her apart from maureen a girl who seems happy to share only two classes with her sister maureen and francine are growing apart and there's nothing maureen can do to stop it are sisters really forever or will middle school change things for good class act by jerry craft for grades four to eight in this companion book to new kid this time it's jordan's friend drew who takes center stage in a story about being one of the few kids of color in a prestigious private school eighth grader drew ellis is no stranger to the saying you have to work twice as hard to be just as good his grandmother has reminded him his entire life but what if he works ten times as hard and still isn't afforded the same opportunities that his privileged classmates at the Riverdale Academy Day School take for granted? To make matters worse, Drew begins to feel as if his good friend Liam might be one of those privileged kids. He wants to pretend like everything is fine, but it's hard not to withdraw and even their mutual friend Jordan doesn't know how to keep the group together. As the pressures mount, will Drew find a way to bridge the divide so he and his friends can truly accept each other? And most important, will he finally be able to accept himself? And that's it for the new juvenile graphic novels. Again, if you would like to place a hold on any of these titles, please visit www.mcl.org. Thank you for joining me.